The other thing that's important with it is resveratrol is very, very reactive. It's kind of like gasoline, you know? You can have it in a container, but put it by a flame, poof, gone, like that. You cut an apple, you see it sit on the shelf, it turns brown, right? Or a potato or something like that, because it oxidized. Resveratrol is so reactive. So when you take a capsule, it goes down in the stomach. And what happens with capsules? Lots of it doesn't get digested, passes through the whole track, see? So it, as it breaks, it collapses on each other, kind of gums up and goes. Resveratrol has an affinity to attach to each other. And so the molecules attach to each other, and they hold so tight that through the digestive process, the digestive system breaks them down, destroys them, see? So in a lot of studies where they take a certain amount of resveratrol in the stomach, it doesn't get any into the blood system. So it needs to be protected through that digestive system. So now what's happening, people are throwing it in tablets and you're taking doses, and they're talking about all this data, but you know what? It doesn't work the way it's supposed to. Now the beautiful thing, what we have, it's liquid. It's liquid, and what science is showing that liquids in resveratrol is so much more effective. And because it has a tendency to clump up, we have nano-sized it. We think it's down into nanoparticles. Nano is a millionth of a meter, and it's way smaller than that. Very small particles that are in it. And so because all of that is there, you will have incredible results with this product. In fact, there's a study showing where it's nano-sized and in a liquid, if you will hold it in your mouth for a, up to a minute. In the studies, guess how much more got into the blood system of the animals they studied it with? 250, up to 250 times more.